Okay, let's talk about a triple monitor arrangement that is non-traditional. Let's say you've built yourself a cockpit. And so you've got yourself, um, I don't know, this box that you've built, like, like so. And the whole front of this box is actually open, or the majority of it is open. And you've got a, uh, I guess I'll use a different color here. You've got a big old like 50 inch screen right here, okay? And then on the sides, you've cut out holes in your cockpit and you've stuck a monitor in this hole. So what people will do is they'll take this, a box and they'll cut a hole in the side of the box that they're sitting in, the exact same size as, let's say, a 27-inch monitor or a 32-inch monitor, and then they'll take that monitor and put it right up against that hole. So when you're inside the box, all you see is the screen. On the outside, it looks a little funny because you see this monitor, like, glued or pressed up against the side of the box. But on the inside, you see this cutout, and you see... A monitor there and that's meant to represent the window of your cockpit. Now the problem with this setup is you don't have a continuous field of view, right? Your field of view is there's a break in it right here and right here. So what you have to do is decide how much lateral field of view each monitor should be displaying. So if you keep in mind the, um, the analogy or I don't know if that's an analogy, but the, the example of a circle being uh, 360 degrees, obviously half of a circle is 180, and you consider where this guy is sitting, let's say he's sitting here, and he puts his arms out like this, and that's a little more than 180 degrees, so I'll call this 200 degrees of total lateral field of view. So we have to figure out now what makes sense as far as each of these screens because they're going to be different. What's the lateral field of view of each screen? Well, this is a much bigger one. I'm going to say this one probably gives us, I'm going to say 90. Let's try 90. And then each of these side screens would probably give us... Um, so we got 120 left, let's say 45 here and 45 here. And then that gives us 180. Now let's say 40, these, let's say these do 40. So now I'm just gonna write over here to the side we have 170 feet degrees accounted for. 40, 40, and 90 is 170. We decided that this total lateral field of view was 200. So uh, obviously 200 minus you know, 170 is 30. So that means we've got 15 degrees of lateral field of view missing right here. 15 and 15. 15 is going to be our dead zone, our dead spot, where we don't see anything because it's covered by the walls of the cockpit. Okay? So we've got 15 degrees that we're saying right here is, is not going to be visible at all. All right, sorry the phone interrupted me there. Okay, so now we have to figure out what to put on each of these screens as far as settings go, because that's where it gets interesting. So on the middle screen, we know our lateral, so let's do, um, let's say, middle screen here. We, we want our lateral field of view, we know that needs to be 90. And on the left one, our lateral field of view needs to be 40. And on the right screen, 
our lateral field of view needs to also be 40. Where did I get those numbers from? We already said 90 degrees is our lateral field of view here, 40 and 40. And then we have a 15 degree dead zone. So the next thing we got to figure out is what is our lateral rotation offset? Sorry, this thing keeps banging into the stuff here. Anyway, lateral rotation offset on the center screen is always zero if it's directly in front of you. And then on our uh, left screen, that's where it gets interesting. Okay, so I uploaded this video a few days ago. A couple people pointed out I did make a bit of a boo-boo on here, so let's fix that now. Uh, and it's the trickiest number to come up with, is how far do you rotate the left screen and the right screen, that being the lateral rotation offset, to get a correct number. We've decided 90 degrees is our forward field of view. We have 15 degrees of dead space on either side, and then we have a monitor for the left and the right window, which uses 40 degrees of lateral field of view. The way you come up with how much to rotate the side screen is you take half of the middle screen, which is 45, you add the 15% of dead space, and then you take half, or the center, of the side screen, which is another 20 degrees, which gives you a total of 80. And on the left side, it'd be negative 80. And on the right side, we're rotating this around, and it's positive 80. So, that would make over here on our middle screen, lateral field of view we decided again was 90. Lateral rotation offset, zero degrees because it's in the center of our field of view, so we don't want to rotate that at all. Left screen, negative 80 for the lateral rotation offset with a lateral field of view of 40. So the screen is showing us 40 degrees of field of view and the center of the screen is 80 degrees rotate it around. Now, of course, this side it's negative 80, this side it's positive 80. And hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that corrects my error that I made and I'm going to re-upload this video.